it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Do you know what today is? First day of spring here in Canada. Monday, first day of spring. <laughs> Woo! I'm excited. Get rid of all the snow. I've had enough of the snow. <laughs> so, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you're new and not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Help me get to that 100 thou. I am so close, guys. I need your help. So let's get in there for that push. And all my amazing subscribers, thank you for joining me. Thank you very, very much. And yeah, today we're going to play around. We're going to do another kind of Dutch pour feather. I did this one a couple weeks ago or so, and I think it turned out amazing. So today, being the birds are coming out, I thought we would do a Dutch pour using my paints that I purchased from Michael's, um, my pre-pour paint mix. Uh, yeah, and today I'm thinking we're going to do a spring week. So today's the first video of spring week. I'm going to proceed in every video this week. We will be doing something springy. I'm excited and I think it's going to end with a wreath. I usually do a wreath every season. So, whoa. So anyways, I'm going to get myself together. I even had to bring out my scarf I made, all those springy colors. So anyways, I'm going to get my stuff together and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And I'll be right back. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, so we have a 10 by 20 canvas, just as the, these are those value packs from Michaels. I have it push pinned and taped on top of my puppy pad. And I don't change my puppy pads after everything, guys. I'd like to try and use them as much as I can, so I apologize if the messiness offends anybody, but it is what it is. So. Right now, we are going to use all of these. When I went to Michael's shopping, I probably did show, I'm 100% sure I showed you all these in a shopping haul. They were all reduced. So this is the Fluid Art by Deco Art Fluid Art Ready to Pour Acrylic Paints. So I thought I was gonna mix up my white base and do, cause this one, whoops, I used my um, Dutch Pour paints to make this one. So today we're gonna make it without the Dutch pour paints and we're gonna use this. So I have this colors. These are all, they were kits that were on sale and they're metallics. There we go. So we have blacks and whites and grays. We have, we're probably gonna use these colors. This one is called the Vivid. Vivid pouring. Oh, they're all vivid pouring. Oh my goodness. Have I told you before I'm special? This one is called the Tropical. So we'll probably use these ones just because I really want to have some color. This one is called the Neutral. I didn't realize the name was on the back. And these are the blues. So this one is called the Lagoon. Very pretty. And this one is called Groovy Gold. So I'll probably mix a little bit of these two together. And yeah, I'm not doing anything. We don't have to mix nothing. Everything's good. So I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna use, this is gonna be white for the base. I hope I have enough. That was the only thing I was concerned about was having enough of the, the paint. These were actually taped, which is funny. There we go. So this is the, the tropical, and then we're gonna use this one as the groovy gold. Groovy gold are sense oh, oh okay. It was in French, sorry. <laughs> I am French Canadian, but I don't speak French. It's pretty bad. Alright, here we go. So Let's pick some colors. We're definitely gonna use that green. So this one is called Chartreuse. Oh my goodness. We'll definitely use this blue. This one is called Tropical Blue. We will definitely use the gold. This one is called Metallic Gold. Um, we will 
use the yellow. This one is called Lemon. And, and, let me see, what do we got? Oh, well, let's, let's use magenta. It'll give it a, a nice big pop. I don't want to go too, too many colors, so we're going to lose those other ones. So I'm going to set these aside. They're already pre-mixed, and I'm just going to rip off the tops really quick. I like the idea that they have a squirt top which is nice, so you can you control where you're wanting to put it. More or less like our squeeze bottles that I use with the Dutch pour. Let's go, let's see what this magenta looks like. Cause it looks, it's hard to tell when you have kind of like a, a, a frosted, it's kind of pinky. When you have like a frosted uh, plastic, it's not clear. It's kind of hard to tell the true color sometimes. Oh, the chartreuse. Oh, chartreuse. Oh my God. I want, I kept wanting to say security <laughs> board <laughs> when I read it. Oh, I'm the worst. I read things and I, I think I, that one's pretty too. That's a tropical blue. I read things and I think I know what I'm saying. And then I'm looking at it. I'm going, no, that's not the right word. I'm just going to wipe off my lid before we get going. Uh. So we don't make a mess. Perfecto, my friends. All right, let's go. Give these a real quick shake, and then we're gonna flood our canvas. And I know I'm unprepared. It is what it is, guys. All right, here we go. So this one is just basically white, and that's gonna be my base, and it's already open. So we're going to do a quick base coat on the white and I'm just going to I just took the lid off and I just poured. There we go. Set that aside and I'm going to get my torch out because I see some bubbles. I think this guy needs to be filled. Oh, there we go. And I'm hoping it moves. It's cold in my basement. So I'm going to do my Drew Barrymore. Thank you, Sandra. Blow dryer. And I'm going to blow this off. Obviously, we need some more paint, so let's pour some down here. And I'm going to do a little coat in the middle because you want to have a little bit of paint so that you can blow um, the colors from the for the feather. so lumpy eh guys let's just you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna bite the bullet and we're gonna pour more on because that's weird that it looks so lumpy and like I said it's cold down here and these are these feel cold in my hands so that is probably part of the problem let's do this 
see if we can warm that up a little. Let's get my spatula, my OXO spatula. It's the same company that I use for my spoons. Try and just get a smooth. That's just so weird how it's gone kind of lumpy dumpy. Maybe that's why they were all reduced. <laughs> And again, it's not as thick as or thin as the Dutch pour, so that could make a difference. I think these are more so designed for flip cups. I'm just going to get the edges. So this isn't as watery as those. And again, the dollar store ones I used. Let's get that. Let's see if I can get some of this. That's crazy. This is why I want spring. Mind you, then my basement's cold because of the, <laughs> the air conditioning. <laughs> I can't win either way, my friends. Okay, so I'm going to wipe that off. There we go. Give it another little torch. I don't like the ripples in it. You know, I'm almost tempted to scrape it and mix a little Floetrol in it. I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, you know what? We're going to go for it. I don't know if you can see, but there's rippled lines where I did my spatula. And I think it's because it's not as thin as the Dutch pour would normally be. So we're just going to go for it, guys. So I'm laying down. So the color you want to put down first is the color that you don't want to see as much. And I might do a gold a couple times. I'm going to arch it again. And then let's do the magenta and we're not going to get any cells with this because there's nothing in the here correct then we will do the I've got paint all over me already we're going to use the tropical blue let's pop a gold in here again very thin let's do the the lemon and we will do the lime the chartreuse and then maybe come back in with the blue just a little okay I hope this works guys I'm almost tempted to use my airbrush all right, wish me luck. Hopefully it works. I'm going to put this on low. And here we go. I'm just going to blow, try to mimic a feather. Let's 
see if I can blow a little more this way. And I'm going to come in and define the feather with my finger like I did last time. So, let's start here and we're going to make one line down. And it's going to... Hoping it's gonna <laughs> come into each other. We'll see. Oh, I got something on my finger. Let me get. Let me get this one. Let me wipe my finger off. All right. I don't like how that just kind of left. I'm just going to blow a little bit. Here, let's get my... I like to use a hose from your water connection to your fridge. These are... You can get these at the hardware store. I like using this as opposed to a straw because you can see the length of it. You can get in spots where you normally can't. I really want to, yeah, maybe blow this side a little bit more. We're going to start bringing it in. So we'll go one like this. It's not moving like the other one did because it's more fluid. Try to mimic a wow I'm gonna use something thinner I'm gonna use one of these tools that's better let's just do that again so I can bring it into the center Oh, I don't like this as much as the other one. Now with the Dutch pour, because everything kind of congealed back in to itself. So that's probably why it looks a little better. The paint's a little thinner. And let's do one here. Kind of go with the natural of the way it looks like it's going. Here. And then I'm going to come in right down the center with this thing and hopefully bring in some color so it's not like a stark white line down the center. There. Actually, it's not bad. I'm just so dis... Well, it is what it is, right? The paint is so thick. And like I said, it's cold down here. So let me see if I can take my finger. Oh, I want to put... I don't even see any gold in here. Do you see gold, guys? I don't know. It's cool, though. It's still kind of cool. I might... I want to move this a bit, but I'm afraid to because everything is so thick. <coughs> I 
<laughs> and don't just keep, <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm still all coffee from getting sick. And as you're blowing, remember, don't just keep blowing because you're going to end up spitting into your products. You don't want to do that. I really want to do something down here, though. Let me just do... Oh, they say just leave it alone, right? Sometimes. There, I just wanted to make it more pointy. Actually, that worked quite well. I'm just going to... color here I want to get rid of. And there. Actually, I think that turned out cute. Like I said, it's not like that one. Can you see the difference that I'm meaning? It all came into itself, but I still like this one. This is cute. I'm going to give it a torch just to see if I can get rid of some of these bubbles that are in here. In there. It's super thick. No cells because I didn't put anything in it. Like you can purchase, like I did purchase the. I, woo! I dropped it. I have one from TriArt, which is an amazing one. It's quite concentrated. But this is one that. Um, artist love makes so you could have put a drop in each and you could have had some cells but I think it's cool maybe we can oh maybe we can look at paint everywhere maybe we can embellish the center and where I brought it all in with um, gold leafing or something or a gold pen we're gonna see so I'm gonna let this dry and I will see you guys when I get back home from work hopefully it'll be dry Oh, let me I'll bring you down and you can have a quick, a quick look. I'll be right back, guys. There you go. Like I said, I think it's cool. It looks kind of cool. My only disappointment is that it's still so lumpy dumpy. I hopefully I'm going to put my heater on it. And like it's like a heater fan. So I'm going to put that on it. Hopefully it'll allow the paint to flow a little more because like it is cold down here but I love the colors but I really don't see the gold I lost it because it was in the beginning I'm so used to it taking over with the um, the Dutch pours so anyways I'll see you when it's dry see you in a bit guys well there you go guys it is dry and I am so disappointed look at that I'm gonna, just gonna bring it can you see the ridges? It dried that way. So, if you are, go oh, whoa, jeepers, creepers. If you're gonna use this, I would suggest, sorry, I would suggest making sure, number one, that it is not cold. Number two, I would attempt to water it down a little bit because it's, it blew for the, Dutch party idea and it looks like there's a couple little sellies in there but I actually quite like it I love the colors and the feather um, the thing that I would do if you put a coat of resin on there you might not see the ripples so I may try that but I just thought it actually looks quite cool so with that my amazing people I hope you enjoyed day one of spring week today's the first day of spring here in canada so with that as always i will link everything i use in my description box today and as always i love to throw out my sponsors a shout out in every video because i think that's fair they give me products and i love to try them so it's the least i can do so with that being said um, if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. Help me get to that 100K. That would be awesome. And also hit that bell for notifications. And if you love the videos, give it a share. And with that, 
in the description box, I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts molds with a link in there for her shop. I also have the links to where to purchase full molds and shapes molds. Um, also have the links to where to purchase Triart liquid glass. I also have the links to and a discount code for crystal resin with my discount code of sherry molten five i also have the links and the <clears throat> discount code for let's resin with my discount code of sherry m10 also i have the links to the two amazing lores distributors i have michelle from artworks resin canada with a discount code of sherry molten 10 capital S capital M go check out her website she's got so much more than Lorez she's got all kinds of stuff and the best is last Laura from Laura's Art Corner my glitter guru go check out her website I have the link it is in the description and the discount code is Sherry all capital letters Sherry Molten 10% and with that my amazing people I hope you have an amazing day and this is day one of spring week wait for the rest love you guys lost a fingernail <laughs> have a wonderful day bye